Welcome to my mini lesson on in flipping. Here's the structure of my lesson. I'll give you a definition, talk about the inspiration, the model, tell you how to do it, and then go over some pros and cons, and then you can discuss. Make sure to have your cheat sheet ready. It looks like this. So you can take notes as we go along. What is a flipped classroom? In a traditional classroom, the teacher lectures, and the students do homework activities, maybe about that day's work, maybe about the next day's. In a flipped classroom, teachers lecture and record it, and the students watch it at home, and then they do activities based on that content in class. I like this model, but it didn't quite seem to be appropriate for my students, uh, mainly because when they do homework at home, they come in and they don't remember what they've done. So I wanted students to be able to, uh, I didn't want students to come in and not be ready to use the content that we've discussed. So I started making videos and having the students watch the video in the class. <coughs> I combined this with the workstation model that we discussed in Dr. Domayo's class in students with disabilities in our schools. Uh, I wanted to set up this model, but I don't have an assistant, so it's hard for me to work in small groups or one-on-one -on -one with students while my other students are doing other activities. So if I record the video, as I'm doing now, and have them watch the video, then that frees me up to move around and circulate and work with other groups. So here's what it might look like. Here, on the top left, you have students watching a video. Then they might move on and complete a comprehension activity based on the video. And then the other students who are playing games, maybe doing another worksheet here, they're also involved in some activities. This is similar to the model I use in my class. Here's what it looks like in my class. These students are watching the in-flip video. Once they're done watching about the new vocab and grammar content, they'll discuss and practice the material with the members in their group. These students are doing a literacy activity, which I'm supporting. And then down here in the front, you have some students who are playing a game. Here is the worksheet from that class. You can see it starts with a bit of a do now. Students reflect on their last class performance. Each activity, each section runs for 15 minutes. They've got the video in Google Drive. They take notes on the content of the video, as you're doing. And then they practice the content and fill in this box based on the content, what they've discussed. And here are the other activities that students are involved in. <coughs> so you can make a presentation, as I'm doing. Then you screencast it. Camtasia is good because it gives you this video box fu function. Um, if you have PowerPoint, then some PowerPoints it's built in right away. Uh, if you choose up here, add-ins, then you can just record using Camtasia and make a screencast. I make my worksheets on Word, and then I use Hapara, um, in which this is set up by IT. All students have a Google Drive folder that I connect to through this interface, and I just share with them the video. And you can see they have their videos here. <coughs> Here's the, some upsides about this are, it frees me up to circulate and move around the classroom. Um, students can follow at their own pace, so they need to stop may take some more notes, go back if they missed something, and they've got the videos in Google Drive that they can check up on later. I found another benefit is some students follow along better watching the video versus sitting in class during a drill session. Some of the st students who might be zoned out during the drill session are very well engaged when it comes to interfacing with a computer. Some challenges are in a drill session it's quite easy to get the whole class to talk. Whereas when I'm asking students to practice with a computer because it's not a live face-to-face -face interaction, they're not necessarily so willing to speak out loud. If it's just like, say this vocab with me, word with me, students won't say I'll speak along. Students do go at a different pace. So if I'm your partner and I go two minutes fast slower than you, and you're waiting for me to finish the activity, then you uh, then you're just, there's just some kind of sometimes some sitting some downtime while I'm finishing up the video before we can start talking. Please check out this resource. Um, I thought I was so clever in coming up with this model of uh, teaching, and I described it to my wife, and she said, I sent you an article that described the same model. 
a couple of months ago. So um, you can find it here uh, in modifying the flipped classroom. It's on Edutopia. And you'll also need some screencasting software and some way to share your video, either by YouTube, Google Drive works, either way. So please discuss with your partner. Again, you have your questions here on your worksheet. What do you think of this model? Could it work in your classroom? Why or why not? And would you need to modify it in order to use it? Thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing your comments.